In this video series, we're going to cover chapter 2.2 in your Excel textbook. In this chapter, we are continuing from our Excel data sheet from 2.1. So we will need to be finished with 2.1 before we can start 2.2. Now we have a couple of goals in this video series. We're going to look at the sum function, the count function, the average function, the min and max function, and we'll also see how to copy and paste cells in new and special ways as well as sort the data and see how we can analyze data based off how we sort it. So let's begin. So I'm going to scroll down. Because I've read all of this for homework, I'm going to scroll down to my first set of instructions, which are right here. First instruction is click, click the budget detail worksheet tab to open the worksheet. It's all, I already have it open here. Here's the budget detail worksheet tab. Click cell C12. So I'll look for column C, row 12, which is this total cell right underneath the, the monthly spending, it looks like. I'm going to type the equal sign and say and type the function name sum. So this is illustrating another way to use sum as a function to add up all of the all of the cell contents of a cell range which we select. So I'll type sum and type an open parenthesis and then click cell C3 and drag it down to C11. So I'm going to drag this down to C11. It's going to give me my total monthly spending. I can close this with a close parenthesis, or I can just press Enter, and Excel will close the parenthesis for me. And there we go. We have a total monthly spending of $14.96. Wow, that's pretty costly. We might need to cut our budget maybe in close. $100 for close a month? That's kind of... A lot of money. I'm going to Ross. Anyway, sorry to digress. So I just wanted to illustrate how this is another way to use sum. In our previous lessons, we used auto sum to do the same thing. Now, let's look at another way to do copy and paste. So previously, I would drag the fill handle and copy cell formulas in adjacent cells. For example, say I wanted to copy C12 into D12 and E12. I, I could just bring it over like that to get totals for this year's annual spending and last year's annual spending. But let me show you a different way. We can go up to the Home tab on the ribbon and click the Copy button, which is denoted by these two white sheets of paper. I can hit Copy. And you will see a dashed kind of line moving around the cell that is being copied. That's how we know we're in the copy, co the copy command. Now I'm going to highlight the cells I want to paste the, the cell formula into. And then go up to the paste button of the ribbon and hit paste. And I just did the same thing. Doing it this way is advantageous if our cells were not adjacent. And if I, do, if I press escape first to get out of the, co of the copy command and then double click in D12, I can see that this is taking the sum from D3 through D11. Press escape to get out of that. And double click in E12 to see that this is taking the sum of from E3 to E11. So cell referencing still applies. I still have relative cell referencing which updates the cell range in the function. 